Hello YouTube, this is Joshua Tabuggin and welcome back to another video of Genshin Impact. And on today's video, we're going to Boo Boo Pharmacy. It just sounds so good to say Boo Boo Pharmacy. I'm gonna take the short shortcut. You have to get some incense. Huh. The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in here. Hello? Is anybody there? No. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? It's a ghost. D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear. Thank you, Paimon. I got you. What? Who this? New phone, who this? Oh, there you are. But you can't even reach the counter. Is she a zombie? Paimon, if we're going to talk about height, you, uh... Well, why is she a zombie? Is it because she has the, 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 the little thing in her, in, her, in her face? On her head? The talisman. the talisman on her forehead. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. And oh no! Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. I, I was gonna read it as Kiki. Her name, but it's Chi Chi. Such nonchalant delivery for a bombshell revelation. Do zombies also count as adept? I, I don't think they do, do they? But I, I kind of, I kind of want to use this. Something one. like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? <laughs> I. <laughs> Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. What? These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. <laughs> Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. Wait, what? My dear Chi-Chi. We didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hunt, hunt a what with the witch at the where? I, I like that. Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret. Installed on Mount Chinhung by an Adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. Did you want to add anything else? Or... <laughs> I much shut up. No, just that the coco goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is 
is a cocoa goat. It's a goat made out of cocoa, of course. Come on. All right, where do we have to go to? Um. Ah, I thought I'd be able to teleport there, but I can't. Yes, time to go. Oh no! I removed it. I could I? Okay. All right. I'm gonna edit this part. We're gonna go straight over there. We're gonna do a zoom. All right, so we're here to look for that cocoa goat. Let's see. All right. So it's in here in the storage room, right? Is there a way for me to get to it? Do I have to do a certain thing to open it up? How, how am I going to get through? Above? Look for the objective in this area. So is it here? Is this it? I mean, is it already built? I don't think so. What's going on it's here? It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. It's if right we can there. retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. the parts yeah. Yeah. got the spare parts what is this here though for just open the doors interesting all right gotta repair it ah these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. Thank you. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? What? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look. It even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there, more nothing. Uh-huh. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret, a Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders. Old man, this area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. 
And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Alright, it's time to kick some butt. Alright, don't, don't mind me guys, it's just me. It's gonna kick your butt really quick. It is I. Whoa, what's what's going on here? Body and mind. <laughs> Just gotta, we gotta get rid of this guy. He's the main problem, I think. Power cord. Power cord. Witness the power of Gugwa. You're open. I think he was open, guys. You're open. <laughs> You're open. Get out of here. You, sir, stop doing that. Please. Oh, how's it going? You can't do anything with that shovel, you crazy guy. Excuse me? Feel the beat. Rain outlines your fate. Stay down. More? Body and mind. Fry. I need to be careful. Time to act. I let my guard down. Yes, you did. Fry. Feel the beat. Try to lock it. Time for Tartaglia. Tartaglia. Shouldn't let your guard down. You guys are a lot more stronger than the ones that you spotted a second ago. Alright, Razor. Get out of here. I think Razor's my strongest character for now. He's the only character I was able to level up to 50, I believe. Wait, I thought I got rid of him. That tingle? Get out of here with that. Ring cutter. What? Oh, more. I'll put this open stuff. You're open. Get out of here. Oh, they're still alive, even though they fell. Rain outlines your fate. You're open. You're open. Jab across. That was it. Wait, there's one more alive, right? Where is he? I thought he was gonna come back up and try to attack me. No, he stayed below. That's it. Huh. These low lowlifes didn't know who they were messing with. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. But where's our coca goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> Which means. A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. 
Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Coco Goat, and review our next step. Good idea! We did our best, and that's what counts! Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than oh, normal no. goat milk. Wait. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did <laughs> I put it? Oh, oh no. Here. This is the name. Coconut milk? Coconut milk. What? Huh? <laughs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. They all need a girl sometime. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. I meant that Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears <laughs> medicinal wacko. ingredients around his neck. <laughs> what a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Yeah, nothing in Liyue surprises me anymore. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chengsheng. She's a good girl, really. Chengsheng? As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Uh, it's Shang Do you Shang? sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Phew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. Three million? You might as well rob the golden house. Aw, oh, too bad that Chi-Sing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. <laughs> Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number! We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? 20 minutes later. <laughs> Coco Goat! Coco Goat! <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey! Less laughter, more sympathy! Okay. I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? 
Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Bubu Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi-Chi wants coconut milk. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 more. That's like zero difference from 3 million! Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, Little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well... As it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the Everlasting Incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Ooh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Yeah, it's been odd. Odd? Not sure if we've been living the high life. Uh, we're experiencing the struggles of the boar. Hmm... <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Oh, uh, wait, I yes, didn't do anything. Don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. I, I, Tonight, I, I shall take you that. both you to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? Okay. As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> nah, it's Indeed. just a hole. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.